Welcome to one of the weirdest dungeons of this whole game! Ancient Cistern. Alright, well, I need to remember what the, like, correct order and course of action here is, but we'll figure it out. We shall figure it out here. Excuse me. Places to be and all that. I'm just gonna grab this swatch right here. Man, that sure was a difficult puzzle to solve. Thank goodness I was able to use my wits to get past that one and get through here. I suppose. So what have we here, huh? Chest over there. Whoa. Oh yeah, that whole thing. That whole situation. Let's head up here. So can I head through here right now? If I do... Come on! Yeah, I could just kind of head this way. The spiders don't really seem to care, it looks like. Okay. Oh, I remember. There's like an order to this or something. Strike the gemstones pointing in the four directions wisely. The way will only open for one who knows the temple's secret order. I used to have it memorized. I don't anymore. Well. No! Stop! Be gone. Okay. Well. Can I just go up here? I know that you can go underwater in like the main area and kind of find the order. I don't remember what the order is by heart. Get. Hmm. You wink. I'll take that. Thank you. Should I literally just go out and check the order? Because I know, like, where to find it. I'm fairly certain. I'm fairly certain, at least. Who's he? So, let's see. Let's check down here. And see past here. Oh, they form together. So, this is down. But, like, what order do I do them in? Even if I do see, like, the solutions. So, the one at the back is down. But... What order? What order is it though, huh? Um, hmm. Oh, still, ooh. Oh, I need, oh, the palm's gonna grab me the moment. I freaking knew it. I just, I remembered a little bit too late. That's how that's done. Okay, so what about like the order? I could always look it up in the freaking book that I have. That's what I could do to find the answer to that. I thought there was a thing. Yeah, it's right here. What is this? Carved into the great statue of inscriptions of gratitude, they reveal the secret order of this temple. First the back, then the rear. Isn't the back and the rear the... Then the back of the right hand and finally the back of the left hand. Back, then the rear. I don't know what you mean by the rear, then. Back, rear, right, left. So it's down, then the rear. Then the rear. The heck do you mean the rear? Hmm. Um. Like, I don't see anything above here, just the one below here. I thought diving into those was supposed to make them, like, you know, get pushed. I guess the game just kind of forgot what its mechanics were for a hot second or something. Like, hold on, is it literally- oh, it's just on the back here. So it's up, down, and then we have, like, right, left over here. So right hand. So the back, so up, then the rear is down. So it's up, down. Then what? Oh, I literally need to solve these puzzles to get these to show up, I guess. Up, down, left. Let me guess, left, right? If we go check the other one? Probably. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Let's see here. Let's you like that. Neat, I'll happily take the silver rupee. 
So it's up, down, left. Yep, up, down, left, right. Who would have guessed it? Squeezy. Nope. No. Nope. How about you don't? I mean, I could just take them out and then hopefully they wouldn't respawn. I'm. Maybe? Maybe we could do that? I don't know. Okay, let's head on down here. That is what we do. Up we go. And then we'll sneak past the mean scooters. Oh, I thought I was getting ready to struggle in that first web. Okay, break that. So up, down, left, right, huh? So up, down, left, right. Oh no, don't tell me I need to strike once and this counts as two hit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! I think it might count as two hits. Up, down. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh crap, I might literally need to pull the Wiimote out of, out of the Cabela's rifle just for this. I might just have to. Like, I can't do a strike without... Okay. We are going to make a little bit of an exception here. Like, combat is one thing. We haven't taken the Wiimote out of it for, like, combat reasons, even against, like, the freaking Spooders, who, like, I needed to do the straight stab against before I knew that I could do that for straight stabs. But this is the kind of thing where it's not even in combat. It's literally just slash for four times in a row until I eventually get the good enough RNG to get, you know, the four slashes right without doing a spin attack. So for that reason, we are going to make a little bit of an exception here and just do this. Oh, darn it. Hold on. So up, down. Is it not calibrated or something? Why is it not like centered? Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Just reset it. So, up, down, left, right. Yeah, and then we'll put it back in. Because, like, combat is one thing. But then, needing to literally get four slashes in a row instead of spin attacks, like, all that would be is literally just. I get a slash instead of a spin attack, maybe like 10% of the time, maybe at that. So I'd basically just be trying to get like four 10% in a row is all that would be. Like it's not skill based, it doesn't add to the challenge in any way. So we're gonna make an exception for right there because all that would be is literally just, are you kidding me? Is literally just RNG for like how it registers it, which is fine in combat that doesn't take 5,000 years. But going for like three or four ten percent in a row, basically. At least I'd say it's probably roughly ten percent. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. I'd rather get the show on the road and, uh, you know, not hold up here for super long. Um, where are we going with this, though? Hmm. Isn't there like a... Okay, so the thing's over there, I think the way to progress. So we're gonna go up here and then jump onto that lily pad. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. And then we jump onto this one, flip it over, and then we can go through here. Is my thought process. Oop. Hmm. Let's break a bunch of things. I'm probably gonna be nearly out of air by the time we get to the end of whatever this is. Oh, never mind. Never mind, it's fine. Everything is a okay. Let's head up to here. So where is this all leading me? Oh, up here, I guess. Please have this be the dungeon item. I assume there'd be like a mini boss before the dungeon item, so this is probably almost certainly not it. It's just a key. 
but that will help us progress because I know there's that one key in the main starting room so we can go there and then we can go through there in that case which is nice so let's head on through skedaddle on through there methinks open up door open up okay so then we go back around we bring it around town that was like a good plan hop into the water we do some swimming try not to get the freaking rifle mixed up in my cord here i swear it's gonna pull my headphones off just like that any day now so open up the door open it up oh yeah i'm pretty sure this is where we find the mid bosses if we just drop down i'm fairly certain yeah and that's where the key goes once we get that go face the actual boss now sir i've taken the liberty to confirm that a door is located at the uppermost section of the statue the lock is unfamiliar to me despite the fact that we've basically done three of these kinds of locks already well well yeah grab that head well okay it's fine that i don't need like a regular for a regular freaking swing against most enemies instead of spin attacks and the spin attacks can largely do the trick against a lot of them now i'm sketched out about you attacking me potentially out of nowhere because you kind of did that one time so now I can only attack a specific way then. Oh crap. Oh, that's what happens when you defend then, huh? Okay. Okay. Neat. Everything's fine. Everything is A-OK -okay in the world. No more helmet for you. Oh. Whoa. No, don't. No, don't you dare. Now I know to react to that. Never mind, it wasn't fast enough anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that's a dead link. What you gonna do, I guess? Yes, I would love to continue adventuring. Thank you for asking. Okay. Oh, we just have a nice little lily pad path. Nice. So let's just get right in there. This time with full hearts. And we know better what to expect from this dude now. Is the thing. So, let's form up. Form up! And we will fight you! Okay. Oop. Whoa. But you don't. Okay, he was in the middle of switching stances there. Okay, neat. Neat, neat. Now we can only attack from like one direction, typically. Oh, whoops. Oop. What the heck just despawned? What the heck was that? Oop. My chair is squeaking a little bit. Oh. No. Okay, so it should be easy peasy as long as you play it patiently like this. Whoa, no, don't. Hey, we got a regular swing instead of a spin attack for once. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy when that happens? Sometimes it happens, but it's... Oh, okay, cool. Thank goodness I discovered that I can do that to get a freaking straight stab. Like, I don't know where I'd be if I never discovered that. I probably would have decided that this challenge was impossible with a Cabela's Wiimote rifle if I had never discovered that. And I think it was completely by accident. Alright, so now that we've done the mid-boss, we should now get the dungeon item, the whip! Give me that whip! Attached to the end of the whip is a strange glowing sphere of light that can latch on various things. If you see something, can't reach target with Z and then swing the Wiimote to snag it with your whip. Snap. Give me that whip! I will take it. Give me that cool whip. So now we can start making some real progress in this dungeon. This is the thing. Oh, I need to press B to. Boop. You like? This is gonna be weird. This is gonna be a little bit wonky to say the least. 
Okay, so now we can head up this way. Away we go. And now we should be able to start doing some more things. There we go. Just put that in my pocket. So I'll create a thing here. Take me to the top. So I guess doing this will just like unlock all the water spurts then. So what is through here? Okay, nothing at the moment. So let's open this up again and see what we have at the very top. Can I do anything at the very top right now or no? I think the answer is new. No. Probably be a negatory. Oh, I was pressing B to use the sailcloth. I don't know how I didn't take fall damage from that. I don't know how I didn't, but okay. So now we should be able to do some more things in this area now that we have the whip. Should be able to. So let's see. Don't look like anything over here. But I'm pretty sure if memory serves, uh, there's things that I can do over here. Excuse me. How about you don't? How about now? Up we go. Yeah, so now we can freaking Indiana Jones to the other side, I guess. What? There we go. I don't know why swinging maybe pull up the freaking sword and shield there. Okay. Oh, we got another thing here. Okay, what is this? This is probably just gonna be like the dungeon map or something. Yep, you got the dungeon map. Figured so. Did it freeze briefly? Oh, I was dropping frames for a hot second. Guess that's what happens when you try to stream for 24 hours straight. Sometimes your computer doesn't like it. If this was Breath of the Wild, I could clip through this wall. But it's not Breath of the Wild, so I can't. Um. So then. Chest over there. Wants me to do something over there right now? But I can't get through here at the moment. Hi. Yoink! I'm surprised we actually got like the finishing blow thing. A lot of the time it likes to not work with this control scheme. Yeah, so there's no way I can make a jump over there, I don't think. If we went across there. Hmm. The heck? So how do I... Came up here and for what, in terms of progression? Like, I guess the dungeon map helps, but like... In terms of actually doing the objectives of this dungeon, how did coming up here help me? Yeah, definitely can't make it into that over here. Can't make it with one of those jumps. So, oh, unless there's something that I can do over here right now. Which, oh yeah, looks like there probably is. Hold on, so let's climb up onto the lily pad. And now we can do this. Yoink. And then... Whoops. Oh, so this is probably gonna stop the waterfall and then we can get through here? Okay, nice. Looks like that is indeed the case. Awesome. Wonderful news. Great news, everyone. Down, 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 and we go through here now. Okay, awesome. We're on track, we're figuring things out here. We're getting it all sorted. Let me up here. Oh crap. Oh no, 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 no. What if I do that? Wow, we're actually getting fatal blows. A lot of the time, it doesn't like to work. Okay. There's probably something I can whip around here. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, freaking give, give, give to me. I take. I really wish it would have been at least 50, but I mean, sure. So, wait, what do I do here? Something I can target on the other side? Yes. No! Yoink! Ow, my wrist. <laughs> oh, man. This game, though. Put that away. And then... Oh, yeah, I could always angle the camera down a little bit more. And you get to see, like, a better... What the heck? Better view of 
I'm doing here. I bet if I whip them, huh? What is this game? This is Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, Angelo. Hello, hello. And we're playing it in a very unconventional way. I appreciate the follow there, Kitty Quad. And also, back of Blyatt coming out of nowhere with a raid, it looks like. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. I appreciate the raid there, back of Blyatt. I hope you had an awesome stream. My mind if I ask what's on the stream agenda for today. I appreciate the follow as well. Oi, if I'm, I'm probably mispronouncing everything. Hell yeah, guns and Zelda. Yeah, so this is the Zelda game on the, like the dedicated Wii Zelda title. And it is a game where the Wii mote is your sword. So you can like swing it around and stuff like that. And the nunchuck is your shield. So you can parry like that. But we have it in an apparatus here, this Cabela's rifle where they are one and the same. And in the game, when you swing the Wiimote and Nunchuck at the same time, you do a spin attack. Meaning, we can basically only ever do spin attacks because it is darn near impossible to- Wow, we're actually getting slashes? Like, I know how to do a straightforward stab. I found out that doing this does a straightforward stab by bashing the back like that. Like, I, I can't do a straightforward stab. Oh, maybe I can, but like, typically not. But yeah, thank you for helping the children from Baka. Well, I- <laughs> I don't know how to respond to things sometimes, but I guess I... Ow, my throat. I guess all I can really say is no problemo. It helps helps put on a wacky event that, you know, a lot of people have fun with because I do crazy challenges that... Oh, and now my stamina's not gone because I did a whole bunch of spin attacks. Uh, which is one of the problems of playing with this controller. Zelda with stamina. I mean, the stamina system in Breath of the Wild is pretty good. This is the one that introduced stamina to Zelda. Like, this is the game that came before Breath of the Wild. The one right before it, essentially. And they took stamina from this game and they improved it for for that, essentially. We got Plays of Smash and Pokemon Shield earlier in the day. And followers came in and each one just send the love to your stream. Well, I appreciate that. That's kind of you. As we, you know, do stupidly challenging stuff like this game on hero mode. With this control scheme. Okay. Yeah, apparently we do this. And then we, like, draw? Oh dang, I was about to write. Wait, if I keep it one line, maybe I can keep writing. Whoa. Dang, I was gonna write Carvey is boosted. Oh. Oh, okay. Apparently, writing Carvia was enough to give me some hearts. <laughs> well, that's cool. Okay, so now we know what those do, I guess. Wait, so what do I do any. There's gotta be something down here then. Probably. Ah! Wait, no? Take good care of my chat and chill. Have a great rest of the stream. All right. I appreciate the host again, Baka. I'm going to be destroying my wrists here. Some more. I appreciate the host again. I hope you have an awesome rest of the day. There's got to be something that I'm missing. Oh, yeah. Right here. Right here. Well, bam. There we go. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Lots of spin attacks and a lot of stamina being used. Oh, let's wait for the stamina to recharge before we climb up here. Is probably a good idea. So where are we going anyway? Oh, probably not that way, unless I go up more. Oh, okay. No! No! It looked like I was up enough for that. Apparently I wasn't. Apparently I was not, as it would turn out. Did I not take damage from that? Why am I not grabbing the vines? Okay, so we need to be, like, way up, even though it looked like we were up enough before? Okay. We're up here now. What does this do for me? What does this do for me? Maybe that's just, like, a place to get stamina back? And then we get around to you. Don't you dare shoot me. Don't! What did I just say? Get smacker- No! Uh, okay. Um... Whoops. 
So what is this and why can I not target it? Why can I not target that, huh? I very much like to target that, but I apparently cannot. Um, can I target it from here? I can target this. But like, I need to open this thing first by targeting this other one. Why can I not target it? What? The hell? It's literally right there. Target it. Unless I just have to, like, aim for it generally over here without actually targeting it. Which maybe it's the case, so if I set my angle to, like, that, and then... Does it go far enough? I don't understand. Like, I can target this here. Can I keep targeting it? Apparently I can keep targeting it from there. Weird game. I mean, okay, I guess. I'm gonna switch to the slingshot here real quick. Oi. Let me switch the- Why isn't the B button working, huh? Okay, here we go. Okay, so we'll take out that dude, and then we're gonna have to switch back to the whip again. Oh, I'll take the whoopee. I'll take the blue rupee and then head back up here. Neat. And then... Then we make our way across. Or not. I guess Link changed his mind about making his way across. We head up here. And now we make our way across for real. Like this. Okay, that time we made it. Come on. And then... I'm gonna have to get some of my stamina back before I attack this guy. Okay, nice. And then we'll find out what this does for me. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, it just opens a thing over there. Does that change something in the main room, maybe? Or do I just have to go down there? I probably just have to go down there or something. Yeah, I guess so. Guess we dive in. This is totally safe and nothing could possibly go wrong with this. I see no issue here. Oh, and we have a save thing here. Well, we're down into the freaking sewers of the dungeon now. Oh. Down into the sewers of the dungeon now. Yeah, let's take the opportunity to save. It's probably not a bad idea. Probably not. How about you don't? Yeah, how about you just don't? Whoa! It's hard to control sometimes. Get you guys to flip those lily pads for me. Yeah, there we go. Thanks. Thanks for the assist, Scooter Dude. Yeah, I don't even need to flip the other one. Just that one at the end here should be enough. Nice. So I'm gonna need a key to get through there. Where do I get the key from? Whoops. Can I yoink it? Do you have the key? Yoink! Give to me! <laughs> I will take that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he's pissed as hell now. Alright, let's head through here. So no, he, he was fine on using that key if he was stuck on the other side. But I mean... Oh, what have we here? What, why is my computer making sounds? Oh, and that's where we get the boss key from. Master, I have some important information that I am certain you will want to hear. There's a large treasure chest in the area. There's an 85% probability it contains the key that will open the door we observed at the top of the stone statue. Well, considering that it is literally the type of chest that only contains boss keys, I'd say it's a 100% chance. Well, there's that. Uh, why do people hate Skyward Sword, or is the other one Twilight Princess? Uh, Twilight Princess was another one that was on the Wii. Twilight Princess had a very interesting release, because it released on both the GameCube and the Wii was the thing. And something really, really weird that they did with it is they did do motion controls for Twilight Princess as well for the Wii version. And so they made Link right-handed in that game, kind of like this game, where he's right-handed for the sake of like, like most motion control users. But typically Link is left-handed, so they had him left-handed in the GameCube version and they had him right-handed in the Wii version. 
And rather than like creating his model in two different ways for like being able to be like right-handed or left-handed, they literally flipped the entire world horizontally for each version of the game. So that in the GameCube version, he was left-handed and the Wii version, he was right-handed. Even though like all that was really changed was the entire world itself was just flipped 180 to make that, which was like really weird. But Skyward Sword is the only Zelda game that's like only on the Wii essentially since Twilight Princess was on both the GameCube and the Wii and typically it's Skyward Sword that people hate because a lot of people when they think of Twilight Princess might think of like the GameCube version being able to hit the buttons and stuff like that instead of using motion controls because you can just play with like a GameCube controller or whatever the heck but Skyward Sword is the game where you have to use motion controls essentially so a lot of people like Skyward Sword is probably my favorite Zelda game like in terms of story and overall experience stuff like that my favorite zelda game in terms of gameplay is would be breath of the wild i'd say considering how much i break that game but yeah it is typically skyward sword that gets a lot of hate because people are like oh we're forced to use the motion controls and it sucks i actually didn't have a problem with the motion controls like i have problem with the motion controls when i'm using this as my controller but typically normally playing i when i played this like when it came out forever ago I actually had a lot of fun with the motion controls, honestly. Like, I honestly had a blast with them. But typically, people either love them or hate them. So when it comes to Twilight Princess, there's at least the GameCube version where you can play with, like, normal buttons and stuff like that if you want to. And there wasn't as much, like, motion-based stuff because Twilight Princess didn't use the Wii Motion Plus, so you didn't get to have accurate kind of movements like this, being able to actually move around like that, which you're not going to see as much with this Cabela's rifle, but I mean... Uh, but Twilight Princess was basically just like you swing it around and it gets swung around randomly and you don't have to worry about like enemies blocking or anything like that. But in this game, enemies will block and it's like block above, block to the right, stuff like that. And you have to like actually swing accounting for their direction. Unlike Twilight Princess where you could just kind of like swing it like that and then like stuff dies. So a lot of people didn't really like the motion controls of this game because you actually had to like do like some basic sword fighting essentially but i actually really liked it because the wii motion plus that this game required you to required you to have definitely made the wii motes way more accurate and i actually quite liked like i hate doing it with a freaking cabela's rifle but we're doing it for charity like this but but yeah typically skyward sword is probably one of the most hated zelda games but don't you dare like sky oh dang it should i let myself die just so that we can like do the boss like with more hearts i might just do that so yeah skyward sword and its motion controls is typically one of those things where players either love it or they hate it personally i loved it like in most cases it's not perfect but personally i really liked it but it's one of those things where either you love it or you hate it or you play it with a cabela's Wiimote rifle and then you hate like every moment of this game constantly because everything feels like it's freaking three thousand times harder to do because you can only do spin attacks instead of like regular swings like you're like you're supposed to be able to do so uh <laughs> so there's that there is that so yeah skyward sword definitely has a very interesting place when it comes to like the zelda community and such a lot of people that say like it's the worst zelda game ever we hate it the controls suck everything's awful and other people who are like wow that's actually really cool being able to do like actual sword fighting and stuff like that it was a really cool experience it had a really cool story really good soundtrack i'm one of those people that's me until i started playing with a wait i don't go up here yet for some reason my mind told me i had the boss key and i don't know why so I probably still got to do something in that one room. Probably. Probably, at least. I don't know why I came in here. I was getting distracted. I rant about things and then my mind just like stops functioning properly. I think it's probably something that I'm still going to have to do in this one area back here. Because it's like the one kind of still new-ish area. Yeah, there's still one thing there. Also, we got to find some way to the lower floor to get that boss key down there. Is the thing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh yeah, now that I'm looking at it, another system that people really hated about this game, the stamina system. But for Breath of the Wild, the next game that they made after this, 
they were like, oh, we kind of like the idea of stamina, but a lot of people hated the way it was implemented, so let's implement it in a different way. And thus, the stamina system of Breath of the Wild came to be. Um, so I need to, like, land on that in order to be able to get the way down below. So how do I get up, I wonder? So I can probably go up to this ledge and then flip that lily pad over. Yeah, so a lot of people don't like doing those kinds of motions and stuff. <laughs> Which I can understand, it's not for everyone. Up we go. Okay, so then we can go around here. Whoa! Like, does your stamina increase or it stays the same? It stays the same. So that's one of the things that they changed from Breath of the Wild, is the fact that, like, instead of just getting heart containers, you could choose between, like, whether you wanted another heart or you wanted some extra stamina. In this game, your stamina just kind of always stays the same. Like, there's a potion that you can get that temporarily makes your stamina infinite. But apart from that, yeah, you're not really going to be increasing stamina. <laughs> so a lot of people really hated it. And after playing a lot, and I mean a lot, of Breath of the Wild on this channel, I can very much understand why. Okay, so now we should be able to jump down here and land on this lily pad, which opens up the way down there. Hopefully there's more down here than just a red rupee. Yeah, so I can definitely understand the annoyance with the with the stamina system. Especially when you're using a Wiimote rifle and you can basically only do the attacks that consume like a little under a third of stamina. Your favorite is still Ocarina of Time, yeah, but come on! I swear that dashing into them isn't supposed to like damage me, it's supposed to knock them back. I don't even know. Um, well, too late for that, I guess. Yeah, I know Ocarina of Time is definitely a lot of people's favorite as well. And we got a vote for Wind Waker right there. All kinds of different favorites. Get into the action so quick. For me, like, it was Skyward Sword that I got. Well, if I'm not playing like this. That I would get into the action, like, super quickly. Yoink! Pull up the thing! Yeah, the Cabela's Wiimote rifle is not the best controller option, to say the least. It is the thing, so I mean... Oh, but then we're gonna have to flip that over again. Yeah, it's slow at the start. Oh, I thought you meant, like... I thought you meant in terms of, like, you can, like, really get behind the combat, is what I thought when you said you get into the action so quick. But now I see that you mean that, you know, that means you actually get the game underway so quick. I thought you meant in terms of, like, yeah, I'm really hyped about this combat and I feel cool doing it and stuff like that. Now I see. And Wind Waker's your second best? Is it bad that I don't really like Wind Waker too much? I love its music. Wind Waker has got to be, like, some of my favorite music in the Zelda series. But, like, in terms of gameplay, to me, the world of Wind Waker was just like, here's an ocean full of, like, next to nothing. And I especially hated the Triforce quest where it's like, here's this whole world, we're gonna force you to explore it. Like, this is something that I discussed in my three-hour Breath of the Wild essay, where it was mostly negative points about it, but there were some positives there as well. And one of the positives was the idea that Breath of the Wild's world was just like, here's this world, it's now your playground, you can do whatever it is you want. You can explore as much or as little as you want. Just ha have it be your playground. Whereas Wind Waker is just like, we are gonna force you to explore every single inch of this world if you don't wanna look up the internet for, for a guide for it, which when it first came out, wouldn't really have been an option anyway. So the difference between Breath of the Wild and Wind Waker, like both of them make an open world for you to explore. Wind Waker forces you to explore it, Breath of the Wild just makes it a playground where you can do things at your own pace. That's the way I see that. Um, so there should be a thing down here. The gameplay is like the only aspect of Breath of the Wild that I that I like. I don't like the story of Breath of the Wild. I freaking despise the music of Breath of the Wild. I think it sucks. <laughs> I think Breath of the Wild has one of the worst soundtracks in the entire Zelda series, if not the worst. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to actually take this around. So, like, I typically am not the biggest fan of Breath of the Wild, even though it's, like, one of the games, if not the game that I'm literally the best at because of how much I know how to break everything about that game. Do I have to literally let go and grab back on? I guess so. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No! No! Stop! Please stop. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, please be ground under me. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. So yeah, stamina system of this game, not the best. Really disappointing the Mario Odyssey soundtrack. Some songs were good, but Mario 64 and Sunshine are miles ahead. 
my favorite out of those three would probably be probably be Mario 64. There were some insanely standout themes of Mario Odyssey. Like, not all of them. A lot of them were just kind of par. They did the job, I suppose. But some of them were freaking absolutely incredible. Like, the first time I heard Cascade Kingdom slash, like, the main kind of theme-ish of the game, like, I nearly got teary-eyed because of how beautiful that theme was. Unfortunately, the rest of the soundtrack wasn't quite as good, but, like, there are some specific themes like that that are just like, holy crap, this is freaking incredible. My goodness. I don't know if I'd say every single song in Mario 64 is good. I think the only two games that I would say where every single, like, song in the entire thing is good is Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Octopath Traveler. And yeah, if you consider the limitations of the N64, it was definitely something. Spicy, spicy. Oh, and now we have this way up here, which is handy dandy. So let's go ahead and head over this way. Is the thing. Like, there are soundtracks of games that I really like. Like this one, for example. But there's only, like, those two games where I'd say, like, everything in the whole OST is incredible. Like, listening to the music here, it's like, yeah, it gets the job done, but it's like... Not anything I'd ever listen to in my own time for, like, any reason. Go, like, Lava Slash Desert Land song? I don't know if I do. I think that was... I know the desert area is, like, one of the ones that I didn't actually go to during my Mario 64 playthrough on this channel. Is the thing. Well, I don't know if I can... I can name tra music that I specifically like. I don't know if I can name music that I specifically don't like. Because I don't remember the stuff that I don't like. Wait, so this is this level. So one more level down and then take the door, I guess. Is the thing. Okay. So it should be right down here. I believe. And then we're gonna need to... Send this thing back up again. So yeah, now we're in the basement. Oh, I hate these freaking guys. You need to do like finishing blow on them for them to stay dead. And I can't do a finishing blow with this thing. Yo, oh, it was 100% Mario 64. No. No, thank you. Whoa, dang it. I was looking at the chat to see how it was wasting water. Dang it. <laughs> my goodness. I don't like those guys. I don't like the freaking undead bacoblins. I wish I could restore my hearts, but I can't because it's tier mode. I mean, I have a potion, but like, I don't want to use it right now. Don't you dare. Don't you dare set off that bomb. No. Stop. Okay. One more. Two more. Okay. My oh my. Down in World of Warcraft Maradon now? Also, is there a thing here? I guess so. I guess so. So now I need to, like, draw here to get some hearts. I think, or something. Thanks. Now we don't have to listen to that sound anymore. Okay, well, um... So what do we do about this, huh? We need to stop the waterfall, don't we? Yeah, we need to stop the waterfall somehow. In order to use this bomb, I think. Um, Jepson was trying to see within the eyes, strike it to shut the mouth and damn the flow. So we need to do something about this waterfall. It's apparently, like, in the eye. And I believe there's, yep, the skull right here. So if we go around this way, I keep forgetting I can speed up the beetle. So we'll smack a through that. Had a weird thing with Twitch you couldn't chat. Carvey was saying that earlier as well, Anima. Like maybe there's a lot of people on because this is supposed to be like extra life's official game day or something. I have no idea. Carvey was saying that earlier. Apparently he could post like highlighted messages, but he couldn't post like regular messages in chat. So wait, what do I use this for though? So this opens that up, but what do I actually use it for? I have no earthly idea. I completely... Oh, right here. Okay, so this will open the way forward. Nice, nice. Bombs away! Nice. Schnice, schnice. So I put the beetle back in my pocket. And then we sneak on around here... We're gonna need to switch back to the... I just realized, when it comes to bombs, I can literally replenish my bomb stock, like, right here. Because it's not, like, full or anything. Yeah, let's actually do that. So how many can I have? Ten? Because this is not a bad idea. 
Yeah, 10. Okay, let's switch back to the whip. This is what we better do. So we can sneak around this way, hopefully not land in the evil puddle things. This may be a good course of action, and around we go. So now we should be able to make our way across here. Is the thing. The jump. Okay, game. Okay, sure. Well, oop. Uh, way more from the left here then? Go! There we go, jeez. Okay, so I probably go up to the top of here and then jump across the other one. Me thinks. Yep. Neat, neat. Like, death reception not so good. Yeah, he's struggling a little bit these days, isn't he? No. Okay. So, well... Oh, my stamina doesn't replenish while I'm here. What the heck? Oh, noes. The heck? No. What do I do about this then? What? I mean, if I jump off the edge purposefully, will I go back to that previous point? Is there something else that I need to do that I missed? Can I hit that from here, that switch? And maybe that'll reverse its direction or something? Hold on. No, I can't seem to do that there. So wait. Oh, there's another ledge here. Okay, so I probably have to go around this way and then we can go hit that switch. I think, but should swap the direction that that thing goes, I hope. Yeah, here we go. So I'll swap its direction around. There we go. So probably the reason that stamina doesn't regenerate here is that devs probably realized that if you had enough stamina, you could probably just like run it. Scoozy, but you don't. Wait for that to come back a little bit. And then we go around and we're gonna have to switch this back to the original direction. This is what I believe we'll have to do. Because that seems to be the way that this is all designed. Okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead and swap that around. Swap that. Sometimes my B button doesn't work in this thing. I literally have to pump the barrel of this thing in order to hit the B button. No. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just jump to there. So now we should be able to go all the way across here. Now that's going the other way around. So there's probably some ledge right here that we need to go to. Nice. Okay. More bats! Thank goodness I figured out how to do a straight stab with this controller. Oh, that's my way out, I believe. What have we here? Come on! Come on! Okay, what does this do for me? Oh, so that's just like a checkpoint way up then? I assume... Um... Hmm... So is it down this way? <laughs> no. Nope, apparently not. Not even close. Like, this is the way out. That I know. But do I have to get that key first? Oh, I need to get that to go up again somehow. Oh, I probably do have to actually get out right now. And then put the statue back up, and then this can be the way to go back down again. I remember this. I remember this. I can't go up faster, can I? Stay away from me. Stay away, please! God! Get me through the light. Get me out of here. I do not want any free hugs right now. Don't! Stop! Believing! Oh my goodness, well... <laughs> okay, so now we're here. So where does this put me? Oh, okay. 
Return the stone giant to its original form and descend to Earth along with its thread. There, really, you'll find the key to the path ahead. Yay. I know. So, oop. So basically, all that means is the statue is currently on top of the of the key that I need, but I need it to be down like that so I could take it like an elevator down. But now we have an alternate way down, so we can put the statue back up again, and then we can go down this other way, and then we can get the key easy peasy. I remember. I remember these things. It all makes sense. Neat. So now we should be able to descend down this way. Hello, hello, super hyper. How's it going today? So we should just be able to wee to the bat cave. How's it going? Yeah, we're doing some more Wiimote rifle challenge. It's been a while since we've done it, but continuously making progress through it. Going pretty all right here. I've been streaming for 10 hours now. So, so I mean, 14 more to go. Bit by bit, we're making progress towards that 24 hour. No, how about you don't? And then we get the chest. Then we open it up. Heck yeah. And I know exactly what's gonna happen after we are done with this animation. Got the blessed idol. This carved wooden statue looks like it's supposed to inspire gratitude. It also looks like a stone statue on the upper floor. Yeah, I remember this. I remember this, but it's actually pretty easy to deal with. You just like run past them and then you go up here and then done. Will I ever commentate on stream of VGL's crew battle again? Maybe if it's like a big kind of event of some sort. Like if VGLS reaches out to me and it's like, hey, there's like this really big crew battle that we'd really like you to, that we'd really like you to stream because it's against this really big crew, I could probably try to make time in my, time in my schedule and such. Or if there's like a tournament event or such going on. But when it comes to if I'd be doing it as part of my regular schedule again, I'm not sure because I might be pursuing like other stuff that I need to do more of. And also like lately and for the rest of this year, I'm going to be like stupidly busy and stuff like that. Is the thing, well, I'm playing this game for 10 hours. No, we've had a schedule that we've been going through. So we started out with Fire Emblem Awakening Apotheosis Challenge, which I actually failed. And we did a little bit of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Then we did a couple hours of exercising and Ring Fit Adventure. And now we're here in Skyward Sword. And next is going to be the Crown Tundra. I'm going, yeah, I should probably try my best to remember to stay hydrated here. And also, in terms of other stuff, if I go ahead and check the page here, looks like Anima with now several more A's and several more H's has given $25 more US after giving 50 earlier today by under the name of the one and only Anima. So Anima having now given $75 US to help Help the Stollery Children's Hospital during the COVID-19 pandemic. That's super kind of you, Anima. I appreciate that. That freaking 75 is actually like such a, you know, such a ludicrous amount. So thank you so much for being a crazy generous mad lad. And hey, if there's any one of these things that you want me to do to impair myself, then just let, oh no. I just realized that there's a boss battle coming up right at the top of this floor. If... <laughs> If uh, Sexy Yoshi is around to say so, or Anima, who's right here, tells me to freaking put on a blindfold for a little while, then I kind of have no choice but to uh, do so. The screen's a little bit smaller on the transition until the until the final screen here. Yeah, I should probably get some more water, considering I've been talking for so long. Something that I've noticed when it comes to doing 24-hour charity streams in the past is the next day, I can barely speak because I did so much speaking the day before for like 24 hours straight. Like, it's crazy how little I can speak after. After that, it's all you can do now. What, should I just, like, put my scarf over my eyes when the boss starts? Hold on. I mean, I'll try it, I guess, but... It'll, uh, certainly be something, to say the least. It's like the other way around, isn't it? Ugh! There. This is fine. <laughs> this is very much fine, let me tell ya. All right, well, time to go up to the boss and uh, I guess I'll give five minutes probably counts as like one or two attempts blindfolded. So I mean, we'll see. We'll see here. Okay, so I think this, okay, so to get up to the boss, I think we just do this. And then there's like a couple on the other side. My camera stole off because I thought it was gonna go right into the into the boss. As far as you know, I could be cheating with the Wiimote outside of the thing, but I mean, you could hear the Wiimote, Wiimote rifle anyway. Up we go. 
up I go to save the day. Way up. All the way up to the top. Oh, no, no transition out of there or anything. It just stops. Okay. Okay, let's just save. We're gonna have the boss right through here. Save. 